everyone welcome 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 back to my channel you know on this channel we speak about things related to immigrating to canada the u.s international studies um all that you need to know about being in canada living in canada living in the u.s because i um studied in the u.s and i am a canadian citizen so yes today we will be speaking about the skills that will come in handy when you come to Canada. So the skills that you will need um, for your life in Canada. For those of you who have heard about living abroad, there's something called DIY, do it yourself. DIY is like is a trend when you're living abroad because you do not want to spend so much money paying people to do some of the things that you can do by yourself. So the very first thing that I will talk about will be driving. Now, it is very important to know how to drive when you are abroad. Now, driving or owning a car is not luxury. Like, it's not luxury to own a car abroad. It is actually a necessity in many, many provinces or states. So if you're in Canada, it's a necessity in some provinces where the transit system isn't good. If you're in the US, it is necessary to have a car in some states that the transit system isn't good. So yes, it is important to learn how to drive. For those of you who do not know how to drive in your, in your home country, if you're in Nigeria, for example, and you do not know how to drive, before you come to Canada, it is important to learn how to drive. Now, when you come to Canada, of course, driving here is different, totally different, but it's important to have the basic knowledge and basic basic driving skill so that when you come here you now begin to learn about the traffic laws you now begin to learn about what you need to do to be able to drive here now imagine if you did not know how to drive and then you come here you have to learn how to drive first and then you now have to learn how to you know deal with the, the traffic laws here that's double double wahala or double trouble um for those of you who are not nigerian so yes Driving is very important. Um, learn how to drive before you come abroad. The second one will be um, learning how to make your hair. For those of you who are ladies, um, girls, females, women, learn how to braid. I'm saying this because <laughs> when I first got to America as a student and I went to braid my hair, it would cost $120 to $150 to braid your hair. If you are in Nigeria, convert that to Naira and see how much that is. So imagine if you know how to braid and you can make your hair yourself, that would be good. Now aside from making your own hair yourself, you can braid for other people and like a side hustle to make extra cash. And because you, you can charge a little less than what the salons are charging and people will patronize you if you can. So. It is an important skill to pick up if it means that before you come abroad, you spend a few months, um, either when your application is underway or a few months before you even start to apply. That's why I'm doing this video so that you are aware and you can plan to register to learn how to braid and how to make all kinds of hair. Um, yes, right now people are charging as much as $200 or more to get their braids or to braid people's hair. So the salons are charging as much as, like I said, $200 to $50, depending on the kind of braids, right? So if you imagine how much you will be saving. And then for those of you who, who have kids, right? You want to be able to do, you know, your, make your child's or your daughter's hair. You don't want to spend that amount of money every time or each time you want your daughter to make their hair. And you have to make your hair. So a lot of people, when they come abroad, they cut their hair, right? And some people, of course, um, have wigs. But even with wigs, you have to do cornrows. Sometimes cornrows could be $70. Sometimes, 50, I don't know I don't know anybody that does cornrows for $50. But yeah, maybe you can get it cheaper. But even at that, like you can save yourself... $70 in two weeks on cornrows or in a month on cornrows 
I don't know how to make my hair. That's that. This is one of the things that I regret. I don't know how to make hair, so I have to always go to the salon to make my hair. Or I carry my natural hair. And you know what it takes. It, what it takes to carry a natural hair. The next point I will be speaking about. Uh, it is. It is. It will be learning how to assemble things in the home, right? Before I go on to that point, I think we should talk about learning how to sew, guys. Hmm. Learning how to sew, even if it means learning how to do some minor adjustments, it will save you a lot. See here, when I when I when a zipper spoils or when I have like a cut, I, I don't even bother repairing it. I just you know discard off the the dress or the cloth. So if if you learn how to sew, if you have um, accidents happen, right, where your zipper pulls off or your child's zipper or um, something happens to your dress or there's a patch that you need to make, like, that will save you tons of money. I remember when I got here, I you know, sewed some things from Nigeria. You know, I got my friends to sew some things for me. Some things came back bigger than um, what my measurement. I had to go in to get some alterations done. Here, they call it alterations. Just to <laughs> patch and make it slim, like fit me, <laughs> because it was bigger. Sometimes as little as just a simple, um, what they call it, alteration, where you make it slimmer, you can pay as much as 50 to to $100. Yes, yes. So imagine if you have to do that for many of your clothes, right? You, you will spend a lot of money just making those alterations. And for kids as well. So please, it will come in very beneficial if you learn how to sew. The next point will be learning how to uh, assemble things in your home because this is a DIY world abroad, right? For you to be able to pay people to assemble your couch, to assemble your um, anything that you buy. So you don't just, you know, like back in Nigeria, you go buy a couch, it's probably set up for you or buy something, um, a table stand, it's already set up or buy um, a uh, site tool already set up for you. No, here they it comes in pieces. Things that you order like this come in pieces, and so you have to be able to assemble them yourself or pay for people who assemble them. And these people charge per hour. They charge per hour. So to be able to charge, per, imagine. Let me just give you an example. I had to get when i moved here just moved to this new apartment i had to get someone to assemble my bed i've got two rooms two beds they charged per hour i think it was about 60 dollars per hour imagine and they stayed they spent a long time i think they spent three out three hours or four hours more than four hours or five hours um assembling those two beds and that's like three hundred dollars if i knew how to of course they, they have the manuals that you could follow but hey if i knew how to do that and i was quick i would have done that or if i had a spouse that knew how to or that knows how to assemble stuff we would have done it together and saved that amount of money so this is me assembling a console table and a bar tool yeah it took a while but i got it done You'll see the end point soon. Yeah, look at it. I was almost done here. So learn how to do that. And then learn, <laughs> learning how to fix things in your car. You know, some of us, we just drive our cars. For those of you who drive, we just drive our cars. We don't know how to fix minor things. If it means going to the mechanic beside you and asking to do a, um, what, a crash course, on learning how to either change your tires or change your oil or change the water or change like so many things it, it will come in very handy because like I said everyone charges the handy work or handy men charge a lot of money the next point will be plumbing 
if it means that you need to go to a plumber to get a crash course on learning the basics when it comes to plumbing like your tap or your drainage you know get your get uh, clogged for those of you who are going to own your own homes if you are going to be in an apartment you can easily call your maintenance crew to come in to check that out but if you're going to own, own your home it will come in handy if you know basic plumbing if you have basic plumbing skills so that you don't have to pay a plumber 70 dollars per hour to come and fix something for um like that you could actually fix maybe a tap or something so yes it, that will come in handy also learning how to fix some appliances around the house like how to raise put your, your tv rack and raise your tv for those of you who want to um have your tv um, hung up on the wall it will be beneficial if you know how to do that so little things like this it, <laughs> they come in very very handy uh, what what can I think of again that will come in handy? We've spoken about braid, learning how to braid your hair. We've spoken about learning how to assemble things in your home. We've spoken about driving, baking, baking. It will help you if you learn how if you know how to bake. You could go to a catering school around you and learn how to bake. It will come in very handy, especially if you have kids. You can bake so many you know snacks for them. Your Nigerian snacks that like meat pie like don't um yeah meat pie not donuts you can get donuts anywhere here meat pie uh, sausage roll chin chin it'll be good to learn how to do i don't know how to do those and i think i'll learn sometime but yeah i spend a lot of money buying all this nigerian meat pie from african stores when i'm craving so you'll have cravings that like you want to eat nigerian kind of meat pies and nigerian snacks puff puff basic you know so learning how to make all these things will help you a lot and you will cut down or you save a lot of money that you, you you know spend and channel your money to either your savings or something else so yes learning how to bake will help and will come in handy uh another one that i can think of will be um let me think let me think we'll talk, talk about learning how to braid your hair I think that is that is it. That is it that I can think of. So if you have good driving skills, if you can make your hair or make other people's hair, you can also make people's hair for business, right? If you can um, learn how to fix things in your car, you don't know have to go to the mechanic every time one small thing goes wrong, or you need to just fix a little thing in your car. Um, learning how like plumbing some basic plumbing skills driving yeah i think we've covered most of the very important ones that you need to learn so if you've got questions about some skills um, that you you would like to pick up please leave your questions in the comments if you've got comments uh, about additional skills that you think will come in very valuable please leave a comment and then guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this video for people who are looking to come to Canada or America, looking to go abroad. It will come in very beneficial or it will be very beneficial for them to pick up these skills before coming and it will save them tons of money.